No, that was a uh, random um, stream that popped I th- up. I think we're good now. Oh, I think we, we look good now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I forgot we stopped like right before. Uh, <laughs> this oh, I know. We're mid battle. Somebody threw a spear at me. Yep, there was that big old salamander thing. I'm jealous. I'm the only one that's allowed to throw spears at my teammates. Can you guys see us? Are we good? I think we're good. Hey, that's my okay. job! Yeah. Suddenly really offended because you aren't the one. Oh, I'm gonna be pissed. It's gonna be the reason I rage. <laughs> Alright, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Let's do it. Why delay the inevitable? What's up, everyone? Uh, this is Stop, Drop, and Roll. I am Joe. Um, with me, as always, are David, Kyle, Mario, Tiffany, and May. Um, and we are an actual play uh, Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition pot- er... Stream. Yeah, we're, we're, a, we're a 5e game. Um, I almost said podcast. But uh, we are... Um, picking up kind of in the middle of a dungeon this week, and to tell you guys what happened last time, I'm going to have all my players go ahead and roll a d20 for me. 17. 16. <laughs> I didn't say any shit. I got a 20. <laughs> you wasted your crit. I did. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> right, hold on. Mario and Tiffany? I got an 18. 18. You hear me? Wow. Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. I got a one, so... Well... Like, we all rolled over above 15. And then Tiffany got one. Um, hopefully that's not an omen for tonight. Uh, Tiffany, what happened last time? Uh, yeah, I'm hoping not. So... In notes, we had come down into this room here, which was area of the bar type thing that we were in when we originally killed a bunch of people and so then we came down into this room that had suits of armor we have a guy who we tied up and put unconscious i wanted to throw him into the fire (laughs) turns out the suits of armor were sentient kind of so they attacked us we had to kill them all which i was sad about because i really wanted the smaller suit of armor we are still in that room and looking down at the boss who we came to shin and or fight slash kill and then also what appears to be a large salamander but not the fun I believe this is the one who threw the spear yeah it's yeah. a salamander but not the fun kind we okay. identified it as a salamander right yeah yeah and we they're down at the forge they know we're there now um we're staring through like the little hole in the door and they left off hanging out there yep uh i believe the last things that the party did was uh you guys were like all right i guess we're about to go in um yeah we left off right before combat I'm actually going to remove the turn order. And. Yeah. Uh, I just, like, kick the door. <laughs> the salamander wow. and this dwarf gentleman are staring you down. They're both just kind of standing here. And yeah, you guys are on the other side of the door. It's kind of a little bit of a standoff here. I was going to say that we should try and draw the salamander into the hallway because it looks like it's a large creature of some kind and might take up the hallway itself. We did take a short rest and they literally knew we were here and just waited. <laughs> True. So, like, they're not gonna come down. Did we take a short rest? Yeah. We good? Oh, we did? I'm pretty sure we yeah. did. I, either that or I used, like, a massive heal to just heal everyone. Oh, uh, yeah, you did the... You yeah. did the- did the healing spell that we had to sit and meditate with. For 10 yeah, minutes. Like ten you did a 10 minute one. We did yep. 10 minutes. You're right. Not quite an hour, just 10 no. minutes. But we waited long enough that like they probably would have came down to nothing if they wanted to. True. My personal god-awful plan was for you guys to just prepare attacks. 
And then I'll just kick the door in. I can reach them from here with the nose. I, I, I was gonna say, I was gonna shoot from range. Well, I, but, I can't uh, stretch my arms that far. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> if, if uh, you charge down, you'll allow me to sneak attack, so. I also have javelins. Yeah. Javelins. I would no. prefer to not go all the way out of that hallway, though, in case there's stuff hidden on the sides that we can't see, because I don't want to walk into, like... Yeah, that's true. I, I think we should just pepper them until they come out. Uh, question for Joe. Yep. Um, we did have the 10 oh minute rest thing, but that doesn't mean we get any spells and stuff that we used back, right? Correct. Uh, that would require, at minimum, a short rest for people who get spells back on short rests, um, oh, which is an hour. Guys, I have a bad idea. What's your bad idea? Hey, Joe, how do the hinges on this door look? Like... What way does the door open, or are they sturdy? Are they? Is that yeah, what you're yeah, asking? Them, slash break them. Yeah. Okay. Do you guys want to use the door as a giant shield? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does take up that hallway from what it looks like. Yeah. If there's enough stuff in this room, I want to like really quickly. Is the door metal or wood? I don't remember. Uh, metal. Shit, never mind. Okay. I was gonna say if it was wood, I was gonna like, uh, like hammer something into the back of it so I could have something to hold on to. Because right now it doesn't have a doorknob, so I'm gonna have to hold it like by the hole. Oh yeah. What if you stick a javelin in the hole? <laughs> There's a bunch of spare weapons laying around in this room right now. Just stick like a weapon of some sort in the hole and use it to kind of brace against. Oh, we need that glue. The super glue. I can't remember what it's called. Sovereign. Yeah. Crowbars. Crowbars would work, since it's a little less awkward. But a javelin does have a pointy end that you could stab with through the shield. Yeah. I mean, I'm no, I have no problem just holding it with my hand. If we can get me another like ten feet closer, I can hit the dwarf and the salamander with shatter. That's beautiful. Uh, I would like to remove this door from its hinges. All right. Um, go ahead and make a... We'll call that just a straight strength check. Um, but go ahead and add your proficiency bonus anyway, because you are proficient in like blacksmithing tools, so you would know how to build a door and stuff. I'm proficient in doors. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're a dwarf. I rolled a 19 on the die. Plus 5. Okay. Plus 2. Or 3. Yeah, 2. So you guys watch as Rinlin makes short work of the hinges of the door with her maul. She just kind of bash, bash. It's right in the center of the hinges, so they just kind of bust open um, and kind of bend so they're not attached to the wall anymore. And you guys hear the door just kind of, boom, it drops the inch or so uh, from the ground that it was up the little gap between. Uh, it's enough to make a large clang because the door's, it's a big metal door. Um, but yeah, so the door is just kind of teetering there, um, and it, it's looking a little uneasy, like it might fall unless you grab it. I would like to brace it with my stocky dwarf body. Okay. And that's about all I can do. I do put my ball away, though, because, like, there's no way I can hold a ball and this door. Mm. Fair enough. Alright, so Rinlin has this door off its hinges, and she's kind of bracing it. You guys are all around her. Um, at this point... I'm going to ask everyone to please stop, drop, and roll initiative as the salamander and dwarf see that you're up to something and move <laughs> to stop you. Oh, now they're going to move to stop us. You fucked with their door. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I guess. The door. Are you going to put us... Remove the door from the initiative counter because the door does not get a turn. <laughs> that door needs to be an on initiative. Oh my god, I just realized what Rinlin's worst nightmare is. What, did three door. of us, really? Three of us rolled 14. <laughs> nice. 
should the pseudo dragon be in there? Or? Uh, yeah. I forgot to. I've been forgetting to give him a turn because I forgot to put him on the map. Well, um, he doesn't really get a turn unless I take my action. Right? You're right. You're right. 15, 15, 15. So I will pop him off, but he is on the map for you now. That well, salamander that rolled too well. Yeah, what but is... if he if he moves up and then all of us go at once, he's gonna be an unhappy salamander. What is Soul in the Totem Dex? My... Uh, well, I got a plus one modifier, twelve. Plus two. Oh, mine's also a plus two. You definitely are going before me because I can't do anything. <laughs> I have I have you holding a door in my way, so <laughs> I will wait until I have. You wait the door. I mean, really, out of the three of you guys, you probably would be the one to go first, May, since door. <laughs> Cause door. Unless I have a way to reach entirely out. Certain how, <laughs> I'm not entirely certain how everyone before Rinlin is going to go. We'll see. Door. We'll see. All right. At Prepared the actions. top of the round, um, the salamander... He's gonna go first, and he's gonna move. Squeaky chair. Hello. Grasping another javelin, uh, fresh out of the forge in one of his hands, he walks up to this point, and then he's just gonna hurl it right at the door, uh, trying to pierce it and get through and hit you. A metal door, bro. Through the door. So let's see uh, how he does know. with that. That's a big spear and a big salamander. I just imagine Rimlin like, Prook! oh shit. Uh, that's a 17 on the die. So that is a 24. Um, yeah, that'll do. Oh. Well, Rinlin, what is your armor class? Not. Four? What's your armor class total? Fifteen. Fifteen? Alright, so the way I was going to rule it is because it's a giant ass metal door that you have like in front of you. Um, it wasn't quite full cover because it's not on the hinges anymore and it is penetrable. Hey, hey it's full but cover for me. I was going to give you a plus ten bonus AC, so. Oh. Oh. By the hair of my balls. <laughs> very, very, like, the spear hits the door full on and it pokes through, and it's like an inch away from your face. You're like, oh, I'm glad I wasn't leaning up super close to that. that I lean hurt. ever so slightly to the side. <laughs> and then after that, the salamander's going to uh, take the one other spear he has, kind of ready it in his hands, and he just looks at you, uh, prepared for whatever comes his way. And Kaylian, you are up next. Uh, you know what? I am simply... Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? Can they shoot around the door now that it's on on their hinges? On the hinges? Not quite, just okay. because you haven't moved it at all. Um, yeah. Theoretically, after you move it forward, I'll allow that, but... Okay. I'm gonna take cover. Bonus action hide. With a lousy roll. Uh, uh, go ahead and take advantage, because there's a door in the way. Oh, okay. Ah, huh, that's better. Uh, 17 for my stealth. Okay. And then I'm going to ready an action to shoot the salamander uh, when I have a clearer shot. Okay. Uh, then after that, Ember, you are up. Alrighty. Um, had to make sure I wasn't muted. But I guess I'll just ready action as well, since there's not a whole lot else I can do. Okay. Um, I'm going to ready my short bow, actually, and be able to shoot whenever I get a opening as well. Sounds good. And uh, moving on, Rinlin, you are up. Okay, I'm gonna <clears throat> move 
All right. So your movement <laughs> while carrying the door, because it's super heavy, um, I'm going to say you can move freely, but at half speed. Actually, you're... Yeah. Yeah, I was only going to go up. Yeah, I was only going to go up 15 anyways, because I just want to get him close enough that he can... Okay. Do some shit. Do I... Do I have control? No, you have control the door. And then just like... There, that looks cooler. <laughs> can I prepare action dodge? <laughs> can I just prepare to dodge? You, yeah. you can take the dodge action. Yeah, yeah, can I do that? Yeah. Yeah, That's silly. Yeah. You duck behind the goes. door. Alright. Um, Rinlin moves up. Um, at this point, Ember and Kalian, uh, there is some openings on the side oh. of the door. Uh, you do have readied actions. If you guys want to take your shots, you can. Um, I will say the Salamander is getting a little bit of cover himself because there's a door in the way, so you're shooting through like the slits. Did I successfully hide? Uh, yes. Alright, then I'll take my shot. Woohoo! Is that what I think that is? That is! Uh, I got a nat 20. Okay. And since I'm hidden, I have sneak attack. That is correct. Uh, what's my sneak attack now? 2d6? 2d6. <laughs> No, you can't roll the dice. Kyle's having an existential crisis, and he's not believing him, so. Six. Oh, 30 damage. That'll do. Yeah, that's what happens when you throw a spear at my face when I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> that's, my, that's my job. Yeah. Uh, you aim your... Uh, it's a crossbow, right? Yep. Aim your crossbow, and you line up the shot just right between the gap that's now there between the uh, door and the wall. Threads the needle, flies, hits the salamander right in the head. Uh, he oh. lets out a cry. Uh, he's got just this huge gash around where his mouth is. Um, and he, after he kind of reels back for a little bit, he looks back towards you. Um, and he kind of makes a grunt, huff type noise, and flames just kind of plume up around him from you doing that. He's not too happy about that. Cool. I uh, would be. That would that would knock me out. So. <laughs> Tiffany. All right. Um, well, I'll go ahead and shoot as well. Go for it. it. Do I have disadvantage? You don't have disadvantage. He just has a bonus on his AC. Because he's got partial cover. Yeah. Me. Yeah, it just gives him a uh, AC bonus. Okay. Yeah. I got a 19. Total? Hello? That'll hit. Joe, you might be muted. Can you guys not hear me? Oh, we can hear that. Uh, Yeah, 19 hits. Sorry about that. I don't know why I was muted. Junie, go. Wrong with mine because my dog literally got into all the cords that I have from all of this that I have set up and twisted herself in them. And I'm glad I was muted while I, while I yelled at her. <laughs> Damage all right. was. I swapped a little six. bit. Six damage? Yeah. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Um, I should probably, May, when you move up, you can see a little bit more of the room. Okay. I'm going to do that real quick. More time. Just ever so slightly, a little bit more. All right. Um, so that was the two prepared actions. Uh, your arrow flies and it hits the salamander right in the tail ember. Um, again, another plume of flame out of anger from him. Um, and he is, he is none too happy 
with you guys, and he is moving on up towards you. He's he's ready to get in there and mess you guys up. However, before that happens, a tone. I believe it is your turn. I will try to Eldritch Blast around the door. Okay. That's probably not going to hit anything. Uh, yeah, because that's ten. Uh, ten is correct. You are correct in that it is not going to hit anything. Ten um, is correct. Ten is correct. Um, your Eldritch Blast flies, and the bolt of, like, arcane force energy that flies out of a tone's hand you see flying forward and it kind of bumps the door a little bit and just kind of ricochets off and the door kind of messes up its trajectory and flies off into the room not hitting anything a tone a tone not your door Rylan a tone not your door <laughs> what? he touched your door don't let him do that oh <laughs> and soul you are up next you're such a right. snitch. Um, I'm very bad about them touching or throwing javelins at you guys. Oh yeah, those, those spears that he's throwing, would I be able to grab one at some point and wield it with one hand, or would you say it's too big for me? They are not one-handed weapons, for sure. Okay. Um, they are very large compared to normal spears, so you would probably take disadvantage on attacks with them. I would not count that you as proficient with them. Okay. I was just curious. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not one. I mean, I'm proficient in simple and martial weapons, but if that's a huge weapon, I understand that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to move myself right up here next to Renlin. Help her hold that door, maybe, mm -hmm. at times. Thanks, Thanks bro. And um, I'm just going to peek around this door and uh, cast Guiding Bolt at this guy. Okay. Um, he will not get the bonus because you are right up against the cover, so you can shoot around it without Sweet. any penalties. So go ahead and make your right. attack. Ranged spell attack. That is a 19 plus 5. That'll definitely hit. I'm so glad, because I would I would hate if I botched that, the first attack. 46. Okay, so that's 8... 9, 10, 11, 17 damage. Alright. I thought you were going to use Shatter. He moved out it, of range. Uh, no, he's in range, but um, I don't know what's it. in that darkness oh, around yeah. it, and I don't want to waste a second level spell on one thing. Yeah. I got you. Blow up the forge. But whoever attacks the Salamander next gets um, advantage on their next attack. I will go ahead and put a little, we'll, we'll say that, because Vengo's holy symbol is a shield, so we'll put a little shield on him. Is that me? That's me! I love getting advantage. <clears throat> I mean, sneak attack. Alright. And does that complete your turn, Soul? Um, I believe it does. No one needs any kind of healing or anything, so I'm not going to be doing any of that. All right, it is the dwarf feller's turn. He's not as good of a dwarf as I am. Probably not. Um, no one's as good of a dwarf as you. Bless he is soul. going to... He hasn't thrown a single javelin. He's going to call for reinforcements. Oh. Move right there, kind of out of view from you guys a little bit. You would. <laughs> um, and from there, uh, a javelin is going to fly towards you, Soul. Um, you do get. I'm gonna say since there are two of you now behind the door, um, you're going to get three quarters cover, which is a plus five bonus to your AC. Yep. Okay. Um, but with his javelin throw, he's going to roll a 20. That is one too high. He, he, he hits me. He hits? All right. Your AC is only... Yep, 14 plus two with the shield plus five. Okay. 
so that'll be four piercing damage. Just a regular sized javelin, nothing too crazy. He chucks it, it flies, pings off the door a little bit, just scrapes it, but more of the spear do does uh, kind of sink into your arm and create a little gash there. Um, and now it's the salamander's turn. Oh boy, I'm scared. Yay. You got this. He's going to move right on up to you guys. Oh, of course oh he is. Move <clears throat> on up. I give Sol the oh shit look. <laughs> and... Drop the door on his tail. That's a good idea, actually. <laughs> He's going to make two attacks. One attack on Rinlin with his spear. Okay, then. Um... It's going to be at 20, easy. Okay. If I still get the cover. Uh, and you... Dodge. You'll get... Plus five. Oh yeah, I am, and I am dodging. You are dodging. Oh yeah, disadvantage. So that is disadvantage for me. You get plus five, I'm gonna say, because there's two people kind of behind the door, so yeah. you don't get the full thing. So, he got a 15 total on the lower roll. So he kind of tries to position the spear to go around the door and strike you, May. However... Uh, just kind of scrapes along the side of the wall and doesn't quite get the angle that he needs. Um, and then he's going to reach around the door with his tail and try and attack you, Soul. Uh, no, thank you. Okay. Tail slap. Because he has reach in this situation, I'm going to say he's able to just kind of reach around the... D I was trying not to say that, but I did. <laughs> um... His tail will reach past the door and try and attack you. So okay. you don't get any sort of cover bonuses from the door. Uh, that'll be a 24 to hit. Alright. Um, when he hits me, I'm going to use uh, my Wrath of the Storm Thunderous Rebuke. Okay. And make, sure, make it where he takes 2d8 after he hits me. Sounds good. Um, Solid. This is not going to be nice. I apologize. I wouldn't expect you to. Yep. So, you are going to take... Oh boy. Seven bludgeoning damage. Plus eight bad. fire damage. That doesn't sound like the end of it. It's seven bludgeoning plus eight fire, so a total of 15 damage. And you are grappled. Um, right. Until this grapple ends, you are restrained. He can automatically hit you with his tail, and he can't make tail attacks against other targets. Well, shoot. I'm already hurting. There is an escape DC. We're going to go ahead and put a little net token on Sol to symbolize that he is restrained and grappled and all that. Um, and the 2d8 lightning damage he gets to take. Go ahead and roll that, then. Oh, oh he's got to make a, a save as well for that. Okay. Dexterity save on him. That is a 5. Alright, he fails. He gets 11 damage. Kyle and Tiffany, do you guys remember how much damage you guys did with your attacks the first round? 30. Okay. I may have done hey. some of the record hey. keeping a That's little wrong. Um, That's but water. that is the end of the Salamander's turn. Killian, you are up. Alright, we're going to take full advantage of this uh, advantage. Well, that was for <laughs> Uh, you're not going to believe me, Joe. <laughs> Did you roll with advantage? Yes. Okay. And I have elven accuracy. Ah. Uh, so you crit again. I crit again. Okay. I think he's cheating. Yep. <laughs> Don't worry, I offset his cheating. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, three, 
six, nine, eleven, twenty-four. Six, okay. Four damage. Get out of my water. Uh, your arrow strikes him, um, sinking into his flesh a little bit. Uh, you notice that a lot of like the crossbow bolts and stuff and arrows that you guys have been firing have been burning up shortly after hitting him. They're striking him and hurting him, but they're they're kind of igniting that doesn't bode well for not asshole. being there. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Does that end your uh, turn? Oh, you know what? No, I'm gonna hide. Okay. Go ahead and make a stealth check. Uh that would be nineteen. You duck back behind the wall, attempting to hide. Okay, and then I'm dead. Uh, Ember, you're up. Okay, I am going to move up here by Soul. I'm assuming since he's grappled, I can, like, hit this thing's tail. Yeah. Decent. Yeah, we'll go with that. I'm cool with that. All right, I am going to use my dual swords. Uh-huh going to only use the ice one so okay. the other one will just be normal Yep. so one hit will be ice and one will be normal make sure you let me know which is which okay um, so I'll just roll up for that first okay uh, 23 23 will hit. For the first one. And the first one is going to be the normal one. Okay. And that's damage. How much? I'm sorry, your mic kind of hiccuped. Yeah, I can. Okay. Joe, can you hear me? Now I can, yeah. That was Six weird. Six damage. Six, okay. All right, and then the second one in be the one with the ice. That was a what team? It's so weird. 19. Like nineteen. Okay, that'll hit. All right, I'm trying to figure out. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. But for some reason, it's like whenever you roll the a dice and then like say it, I'm catching like teen. Like, the, the last little bit I, of it. It's weird. I think it just cuts off the first half second of you talking. Great. <laughs> <laughs> but you can go ahead and roll damage. All right, that one is 10. 10 damage? All right. Um, Ember, seeing her friend kind of trapped in this uh, creature's tail, takes her two swords, slashes one, um, and you just see... The tail just kind of, there's a gash in it, and as you cut it, this red, like, blood comes out that's seemingly on fire. And then you lash at it with your other sword, um, coated in ice. It strikes into the creature, and it lets out this painful wail. Uh, it did not like that at all. Um, at this point, this thing is looking pretty beat up. Um, you guys have hit it a lot. And he's kind of bleeding all over the place. Can you do one more thing? Yep. My last battle master dice. Okay. <laughs> I use goading attack. Okay. Disadvantage on attacking anyone but me. Okay. He gets a save for that, right? Uh, yes, it's Wisdom. He got a six. Safe. Okay, so he's... My ice sword for that one, too. Because it's like another hit. How much damage? Seven. Seven? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, so with that, the ice from Ember's sword just kind of starts seeping over the salamander's tail. Um, too much for it to bear. It kind of like grasps the ice with its hands 
and breathes heavily. Um, something about being hit by this burst of ice on it, it's draining the creature, and as it kind of grips it, it slumps down, and you see the blood dripping from the various uh, arrow and crossbow bolts that you guys have fired into it. It just slumps to the ground, no longer moving. Nice. Your door plan was yes. successful. I did good, guys. Okay. You did good. Good job. Next up, Rinlin. There's still wannabe dwarfs to deal with. Uh, I only see one though. Um. So Soul's no longer grappled, right? He's, he's correct. Reduced. Soul okay. is. Uh, you stumble for a second to get loose from the, no longer heated tail. Um. I want to just, like, drop the door on top of it so that we can use it as a ramp. Sure. And then just, like, rage and grab my hammer and just go in screaming. Go for it. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> so I'm going to go to here. Okay. I will show you... It's another door. That's gonna be my vic my next victim. <laughs> I just ignore the dwarf and just go straight for the door. <laughs> so, there you go. That was only half of my movement, so I'm gonna move the other bit to get up here and just beat the shit out of him. Go for it. While screaming loudly. Um, I don't do shit. I don't think. Uh, does a 13 hit? Nope. Yeah. I just scream at him, I guess. <laughs> okay. That's about all I do. <laughs> a tone, you're up. Intimidation, though. Yeah. I, I try to intimidate him. Uh, Mario, I cannot hear you. Uh, I wasn't saying anything. Can you hear me? Now I can. Okay, I was I wasn't saying anything, so that's why you didn't hear me. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> no, I was like, crap, as far as I can get. Um, do I... Did you consider that line of sight on him? Uh, I'll say you do, but he has cover. Just half cover, so it'd just be a plus two to his AC. Yeah. Good enough. Yeah, that corner. We will uh, try to blast him. Okay. Pull off table. That's a 17. 17 will just miss. Um, your your blast kind of flies and it nicks the side of that corner there. Um, you know what? Uh, Soul got hurt a bit there. Uh, how bad are you? On a scale of 1 to 39, I'm about 20. We're going we're gonna to bonus action this here. We're going to bump to... Uh, <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna bump two more healing light, healing one, and seven more. So. Yes. It's the most accurate approximation I've ever heard. <laughs> it's my favorite. I, I love it. It's the best way to get around <laughs> metagaming. Uh, so thank you, Robert Hammond M, for the follow. Thank you. Oh, thanks, buddy. Thank you. David's okay. over here breaking the internet. <laughs> I saw it somewhere on like a D and D Reddit or something. It's a good one. Um, it is. So, a tone's done. Yeah. All right, Soul, you are up. All right. So I have an ability called Rejuvenate. Do you know? Where I can, <laughs> I can cause a creature to that I can touch to heal a number of hit points equal to uh, two times my level as a free action. Can I do that to myself? Mm -hmm. You are a creature. All right, I was just making sure. Is he? Is he? All right, so as a free action, I'm going to heal myself for eight more. All right, and then I think, yeah, I you Diagonally, that's just straight 30 feet. I can run that, right? Yes, sir. All right. 
I'm gonna put myself right there and start slamming him with my warhammer. Go for it. Please do better than me. I got a 17 plus 3. That'll hit. So 20. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. One, two, eight. So that's four damage. Four damage. Uh, Soul walks up and starts laying into this dwarven fellow. Wait, are we supposed to, like, question him? Oh. Not leave him. <laughs> smacking. We do need to know where, uh, the one guy. What was his name now? Uh, yeah, you know, the whole reason we're in the city. Yeah, yeah it's kind of the whole point. I That's guess. Right. Alright. Uh, I'm guessing that's the end of Soul's turn. It's now this dwarf gentleman's turn. Oh my goodness, what is his name? The dwarf gentleman? No, the person that we're here for. Coolitan. Uh, Coolitan. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I was having a moment there, guys. Uh, the dwarf gentleman is going to move here. He is not going to disengage, so that will provoke attacks of opportunity <laughs> from Rindlin and Soul if you guys would like to take them. I crit! Okay. And I got a 16 plus 3, so I think you I hit two. Both guys. hit? I would like to non lethally hit him for like a shit ton of damage. Okay. Knock and thump. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to knock him out if, if this does enough. Uh, 19? 19 damage? <laughs> yeah, it's not a lot. No. Uh, I'd he's like still to, up. Yeah. I'd like to non lethally as well hit him. I rolled my damage. <laughs> I got max on the die. And I can't remember if I've been doing it right. Is it damage plus strength plus, plus proficiency if I'm proficient with the weapon? Not proficiency, just strength. Just strength. Okay, yeah. so that's nine, 9 damage total. Alright. Uh, you guys, as he turns to run away, the two of you simultaneously bring your hammers down on his head and just bonk him on the skull, and he just falls down unconscious. Nice. I look over, Surprising I look at Red Lane, and I'm like, hammer buddies. Can we, like, high-five with our hammers? <laughs> Absolutely. Just chink. Feels like it was hammer time. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> that was awful, but I love you. <laughs> okay. Uh, the party is yeah. free to move around. Uh, you guys are out of initiative for now. Uh, I would like to also, we... tie this motherfucker up. I instantly walk over here, grab this metal thing right here. The pair of tongs. And, and I'm tongs. like, Brandlin, what are these used for? The tongs. <laughs> And she can't be on blacksmithing now. Okay, can somebody else tie him up so that I can... Like, I, I fuck this forge. <laughs> Got it. I'll do it. Thanks. You're the best. Yo, I'd like to search the crates. Uh, I'm okay. gonna go investigate the doors immediately. So Ember pops over and is tying him up. Kalian walks over to the doors. Uh, Tone is looking at the crates. Soul is looking at the tongs. And Rinlin <laughs> walks over to the forge. Um... All right, so Ember, you you tie a good decent knot around this dwarf. He's all wrapped up, all not moving anywhere. Um, so those tongs are pretty neat. They open, they close, they can pick stuff up. Um, <laughs> he's standing there doing the lobster thing where he's like, ting, 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 ting. <laughs> uh, a tone looking through the crates. Uh, you find uh, some interesting things. Uh, Similarly to in the warehouse above, if you guys remember, it was kind of like a warehouse with raw materials and whatnot. Same deal, uh, a lot more unique materials. Um, a lot of stuff that you guys would probably recognize isn't completely legal in a lot of places. Um, one of the one you happen to open up a tone, it's uh, turtle shells, and not just any turtle shells. They're Venotian sea turtles. A a uh, well-protected um, national yeah. symbol, pretty much, of Fenok. Um, but their shells are notoriously strong and uh, make for very strong, just natural shields and whatnot. Um, Is there any rhyme steel? 
not in the couple of boxes of tone opens. He opens that. He opens one where it's uh, the skin of like this strange panther-like creature, but it seems to like kind of glisten in the darkness, like it would help you with stealth or whatnot. There, it's weird supplies for creating items and whatnot. Um, any any layers tree material? Not that he gets to. He only gets through a couple of boxes. Kaylin, you go over, you start looking through at the door. Um, they yeah, That one seems unlocked. If you peek, do you peek in the door if it's unlocked? It's not trapped. No, I, I'm just, I'm just going to like see if it's trapped and listen. Mostly listen. Okay, you can go ahead and listen. Make a perception check for me. I want to see if anybody, uh, like if there's a commotion on the other side. I got a 22. Okay, listening at that door um, for the few seconds you have, you don't really hear anything. Um, oh, God. Except for dog barking. Just some dogs barking. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Yeah, it's not re- not it's quiet. Dog in the face. Oh. That's never fun for the dog. Um, and then Rinlin. Oh, yes. You walk over to the forge. Um, and if you remember, I mentioned that the dwarf was holding before a particular hammer. Uh, the hammer he left in the forge... He went with javelins instead. It is sitting there, head kind of in the fire a little bit. Um, It's got these intricate carvings all over it. And the head, imagine like a three-dimensional teardrop sideways. So like the head of the hammer is like the rounded part of the teardrop. And it's black. Nice. I love it. Are you gonna... Oh, actually, how well made is it? Really well made. Like... You don't think he made it. Do I shed a single tear? Yes. Just... <laughs> I pick that fucker up. As you pick it up... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me it's cursed. There's a... Uh, because it's partially in the flames, you lift it up, and some of the coals crumble in the forge. Um, all of a sudden, you... Guys are all kind of distracted for a moment as smoke kind of billows out the top of it. And you guys hear this kind of airy, high pitched laughing <laughs> as emerging from the forge, uh, several creatures kind of back. fly out. Oh, shit. <laughs> what have I done? And I'm going to do something to make these guys a little bit more visible for you. I don't think anyone is surprised that I just, like, alley-ooped the hammer out of here. Yep, no, no. No, not even a little bit. This whole room is, like, your wet dream. It is. Well, I mean, if there was rhyme steel in here, my character quest would be complete, so I could just leave. (laughs) Retire his character. I don't think I've ever retired a character. They always die. (laughs) Redlands goal is to forge or make a weapon or make it is to forge with rhyme steel mm. that's her life goal is to figure out how to do that just like up and off yourself because her whole life would be complete yeah <laughs> yeah because she's just going to totally do that yep Can she throw a that's a bad away? color <laughs> just falls on javelin no i have somebody we get high enough levels so you can do dimension door so i can just throw it through the dimension door and hit myself with it <laughs> that doesn't work, but next level we'll I can do that. Cool. So I'll be killing myself next round, next uh, next level up. Emerging from the forge, uh, these six small little flying creatures kind of emerge. Uh, three of them seem to be similar to the salamander in that they're glowing red hot. Uh, they kind of drip what looks to be molten rock that hits the ground. The other three seem to be comprised almost completely of smoke um, rising up. They all have uh, pointed ears, long noses, almost like a goblin's face with the extra long pointy nose, um, and little wings that keep them aloft. So like an imp? Yeah, very similar to an imp. <laughs> Would I have time to attempt an arcana roll to identify them, or uh, do I flip for my turn? Uh, in this situation, you're going to have to stop, drop, and roll for initiative. Yep. Oh, that's not bad. I crit. 
<laughs> Everybody's critting today. I crit! <laughs> What? I got a five. Oh. I add. You guys can go ahead and add those to the initiative tracker. Blue, I crit. Yeah, I blew mine at the beginning. Oh, I blew a rage too. Wow, I just realized that. Oh, yeah, that's too bad. Master dice. I'm really upset. 19, 19, and 3 for the magma ones, and then... Now we know what they are. It's one thing, I'm definitely buying a gem con. Hmm. Dice. I need dice. We need to get... I wish we could get those. No, I got new dice. Oh, I, honey, it doesn't matter. I need to get you dice. <laughs> <laughs> blast, blast, blast yeah. dice. Blast by my mother. Blast dice. We need them like four times blessed for Mario. You got the wheat and curse. Will we? <laughs> the <wheat and curves. laughs> All right. So, as these methods appear and move oh, to attack method. you, huh. uh, I shouldn't have said that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, would oh, I have a I have a method mini. Can I go get it? Just like, have a fire Put it on your screen. <laughs> yeah. All right. Throw the dice at it. <laughs> Rinlin, you are up first. Um, they're not flying out of your reach or anything. They just kind of emerge and they're hovering about uh, head height. So, is the damage on this hammer the same as my mole? Because I'm using it currently. As of right now, yes. So just roll a 2d6 as normal? Yes. As of right now, your damage does count as magical now with it. That's... Not gonna. That you don't have to attune or anything for. More may happen if you attune to it. I'm going to attune to it. I would like Sounds to leave combat, actually. Um, <laughs> Just leave yeah. for an hour. I'm gonna go take a short rest with two of you guys. Guys, with these. 600 rounds. You can do it. <laughs> yeah. I'll just, like, immediately swing up at the one that just <clears throat> emerged right in front of me. Okay. The magma one or one of the smoke ones? I mean, I rolled a four on the die, so. So none of them. <laughs> I'm like, oh god, this thing's weighted different, I just, like, swing wide. Uh, the magma one or one of the smoke ones, and what's the total? Just, just in case. Nine. Okay, you miss. <laughs> yeah, I rolled a four on the die. <laughs> um, and I can't really see the smoke ones, so I honestly... Do you want like... a better color for them? They don't have the thing, like, I can see... The they have a the... black one. They do on your screen, and I can see it, but they don't on my screen. They don't. Yeah, their aura is not showing up. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Ah, I checked the wrong box. Nice. There now we go. Now he's blue. Whatever. Roll, roll with it. Definitely see them now. There you go. Uh, I mean, I would like to have raged before I did that, but it doesn't really matter. But I am raging. Okay. I'm oh, going to make them all practice. blue. Blue is a little bit clearer. Black was fine. But that's all yeah, I can do. It doesn't matter. The circle helps. It does. Yeah. Just for the folks at home, I think blue's a little clearer. Okay. Um, it is Mephit's turn. So this little feller. Um, he is going to fly right over here. Uh, turn, and he kind of laughs, <laughs> Bruh! and he opens his mouth, and out of his mouth, no! uh, small cone of fire emerges. So, Soul and Rinlin, I need you guys oh. to make dexterity saving throws. I dropped my dice when I fucking tried to roll it, so. I just imagine an ice cream cone with fire. I got a 19 total. Okay. 13. Alright, you guys will take half damage from this. 13. Uh, so each of you is going to take three fire damage. <clears throat> That's not fair. Sorry. Whenever, whenever he does that, I want to look at him and be like, oh, you're a cute little feller. <laughs> Alright. Uh, next up is this smoke method. Do, 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 do. He is going to... 
He's gonna fly right over here to Kalian. Hi, little fella. And I should specify that he has used his fire breath. Uh, he is going to open his mouth, and out of it, a he, cloud of this smoldering ash just kind of flies out right at your face, Kaylin. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, I think I'm pushing dex saves. I'm just going to see. I'm not actually going to check. Yeah, I got a 20. 20? All right, you are fine then. Nothing happens. Oh, cool. I'm a ninja. <laughs> All right. Next up is this feller who is right in melee with you already, Rinman. So he's going to swing at you with his claws. I'd like to see him try. Well, he's he's going to. Wow. It's a non-competition claw. It's really dangerous. 22. He does, yes. So that will be four slashing damage and three fire damage. So two. S Yep. And, so five. Yes. You mathed faster than me. Sorry. That's okay. Um, this little guy is going to fly out towards a tone, and he'll go ahead and claw at a tone twice, or just once, with his claws. Uh, does a ten hit a tone? Nope. No. So he swings in a tone, you dodge out of the way. As this little magma drippy guy comes flying at you. Alright, that'll bring us to a Tone's turn. Um, what do I do? Um, Kill them? Yeah, but. Uh, I, this is just. I will. Um, I got that uh, dagger that I put in um, you know, my sigil's uh, space. Yep. So, I will bring that out. Cast a booming blade. Okay. Booming blade, nice. So weapon attack on one creature. Uh, that's what is. What is you are cutting in and out audio wise. Oh. There you go. Now I can hear you. <laughs> okay. The complaint read perfectly. <laughs> Okay. Uh, anyway, attack with that is 16. 16 hits. Okay. This. Yeah. So, 6 from the dagger and boom blade. Doesn't do anything until 5th level. I mean, if he moves, he takes a D8. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Yeah, so if you willingly move, so then. This Never mind. Okay. Okay. You strike him, and he kind of. Uh, this strange vibrating aura almost of uh, the air around him uh, surrounds him, and he looks a little confused for a moment. Uh, but you do cut him with your dagger um, for six damage, which is nothing to shy away from. Uh, Kaylian, you are up next. I'm going to take a bonus action to disengage from this fella. Okay. Move over here, and I'm going to Booming Blade this guy as well. <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, did not crit this time. I only got a 21. That'll hit. Only. Only. Uh, 11. 15 damage. Okay. And if he's still alive, he's booming blade for me. And I'm gonna. Five, 10, 15. 20, 30. Got my turn there. Uh, how did you move? Uh, here, let's do it this way. Because you were here. Oh, I was here? Oh, okay, so I, I couldn't get that far. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'll go there then. Okay. Alright. Uh, next up is this smoky boy. 
Um. <laughs> a spooky boy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Smokey Boy is going to. That's what they are from now on. Smokey Boys. And Hot Boys. Ooh, Hot Boys. Hot Boys. Hot Boys. Boy. What does that do? What does this do? Ooh, it's like a, like a DM in a candy store. <laughs> I could kill them with this. I could kill them with this. What does that do? That does... Nothing. Nothing helpful. You're actually right. It doesn't do anything helpful. So he's not going to do that. I saw um, it pop up on the street. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> yeah, he's going to burp. Um... Open his mouth, and this big cloud of ash and smog is going to fly out around Sol and Rinlin. Uh, I need you guys to go ahead and yes. make dexterity saves. Yes. Smog? Smog? Like that? Yeah, D20. I mean, I got a nat 20. Nat 20, okay. I got a 6. You got a D20. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like the smoky boys. You got a 6, Rinlin? Yeah. All right, Sol, you just kind of, like, brush it away. Um, and apparently it's, like... He, he was aiming control. downwards, so, like, you're able to get some air and can see a little bit. Uh, Rinlin, as he just lets loose this smoldering ash, um, some of it gets in your eyes, and you have to kind of, like, start brushing your eyes away. Um, you are blinded until the end of his next turn. Is, is it poison? No. For my eyes? You're blinded by the light. <laughs> blinded I thought he was poisoned, so like... She wants her dwarf resilience. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. It's eye poison? <laughs> Make your water and rinse your eyes out or something? Uh, that is his turn, though, and we will come to Soul. Sweet. So, I was thinking... Yeah, five. That's 15 feet away. Ooh, shatter. Um, yep, 10. I, I know, I... 10 and 5, 10, that she's too far out of it, and 10. So these three guys, if I cast Shatter right there, would get hit, right? Yep. And none of my allies would get hit. That is correct. You found the, the magic sweet. spot. I'm See, that last Shatter question right is there. unnecessary. Well, I just don't want to hit, hit Maze character. All right. I, probably, I probably deserve it, honestly. Um, that <laughs> is you. dexterity that saves? Is constitution saves. Con saves. Interesting. Nice. All right, so we'll go from top to bottom. That's a six. That's Fail. a twelve. And that's an eighteen. Pass. All right. Okay, so three d eight, and then the pass takes half damage. Okay. Okay, so that's five, nine, and nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seventeen damage. Dang. Damn, boy. Shatter's a great spell. It, I love it. It's arguably Half of 17 spell. is spell. 8 in D&D &D because rounding. Um, Soul just kind of uh, holds up his shield, uh, says a quick prayer, and this bead of light emerges from it and just floats out at a rapid pace into the center of, or the far end of the room. And it just bursts. And when it bursts, there's like the sonic vibration that goes through, um, hitting the mephits as they're in air. In the air, they kind oh, of I shriek out. Ah! Oh well. Is that, what was that sound again? Ah! Thank you. I yep. appreciate it. <laughs> it. Sounds a lot like your goblin noise. Yeah. I told you they're very goblin like. <laughs> <laughs> he has a point, man. They're the like the goblin fairies. <laughs> All right, now chat is mocking me for my Moran noise. Um, oh, that's <laughs> rude. Never... Nah. All right, so is done. So yep, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. Ember, you are up. Kick her right. ass. Um, 
I'm way over here. I'm trying to measure, sorry. It's all good. Stop. How dare you want well, to measure? Eh. <laughs> I usually just count. <laughs> I don't I know how don't. to do that. I don't know how to math every time, so... I don't think any of us do. Here. Okay. Dude, that poor little method. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I get advantage, right? Yes, you do. Uh, he is, like, That's vibrating right now because he was booming bladed twice. So. Oh my god. <laughs> Rip this guy, though. Right. Hey, does a 15 hit him? 15 does hit, and why don't you go ahead and roll damage right now? <laughs> is this your ice blade or your regular blade? I don't know if it matters, but I'm just curious. Is, he's a fire one, right? Yep. Do the ice one. Okay. I just want to see, like, little ice pieces of method get thrown across the room. I don't. Ice methods are terrifying, and I might have flashbacks. Uh, seven. Seven damage? All right. You cut into the little magma method, and as you kind of, like, cut across his chest, uh, you see it glows as bright, vibrant orange. Uh, a few moments later, it, the glowing just kind of spreads to like his entire body, and you hear him going, Aah! and then he just kind of grows and inflates and then bursts. As he bursts, oh no! lava is sprayed all around him. Anything oh, within five no. feet, so Ember and Atone, oh, no. uh, you guys have to make dexterity saving throws. They're bursty boys! <laughs> I really hope there's methods later on because I want to just call them blank boys. boys. <laughs> methods are now boys. At 18 on the die. So okay. Yeah, this is this 20. is why I wanted to identify them. And a tone? 13. 13? Alright, you guys both take half damage oh from this. Kind of my, uh, so it would have been 9, but half damage gets you down to just 4 fire damage from the exploding boy bursty hot boy <laughs> I, like this, I like this new stop rope and roll meme that we're currently creating bursty okay. boy all right so i mean since he's dead i can go down and hit this one right sure can okay uh i'm accidentally I keep moving the map over again I'm gonna go right there okay no I'm still within five feet but it just feels safer <laughs> all right well I'm gonna use my action surge so I can hit twice on this little nugget do you still have your offhand attack? Yeah, you only used one of your weapons on that one, so you still technically have your offhand attack. So if you oh, action okay, surge, you'd have twice. three attack. Or, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Well, Ignore I me. I do the thing. Okay. Um, the first one was 15. That hits. 15. Both of those were without any of the adding stuff, but I knew they hit anyway. Okay. But I rolled the same. Um, is... Five damage. Second one is icy, but I don't think it matters for the smoke boys. You are correct. I like the smoke boys on fire. Do you think that would work? Probably not, since they lived in a forge. Yeah, that is true. You're right. So that was how much damage total? And... Fifteen total. Fifteen total? Thank you, dude. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Your audio was just, like, cutting out a little bit, so I heard the six, but I didn't hear the other number, so... Alright, um, but you... Hit the one, lava kind of spatters all over you. Uh, 
you're stung by the flames that lick you a little bit, but you turn and you see the other phone, you just run up. Two more swipes to him. Um, your swords striking at the strange smoke-like body, they actually connect with something. Um, and it it sinks in and he makes a little <laughs> noise as you cut into him. I love it. Alright. That's all I'm going to do. Cool. Uh, is this Mephit's turn? Um, he's going to try and scratch at Rinma. That's a 16. That hits. All right. That'll be a whopping three slashing damage. So, one? Yes, one for you. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Renlin, your turn. That tickled. <laughs> I giggle. <laughs> I would like to use the tickle to wildly swing in whatever direction that tickle came from. Okay. Uh, you still have... Yeah, I know. <laughs> ...blinded stuff, but... Oh, I know. Is it disadvantage? Yes. Your reckless it would count... cancel out. I rolled a, a 1 and a 17. I forgot that I could reckless, also, until just now. So, that's a thing. Uh, 1 will miss. It's a solid crit fail. Um, you're... With the new hammer, you take a swing and you, you don't hit anything. That new hammer is garbage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about to just be like, fuck this hammer. Um, I forget that I have fucking reckless attack. It's this hot boy's turn. Uh, let's see if he gets his fire breath back. He does oh. not. Uh, instead... He's going to look at soul. And that, I know, does do something. Wow. I know this definitely does Confused something. Confused them to look at you? They've got the sex eye. So, soul, he looks at you, holds out his really hands, and <laughs> oh waves of heat just start kind of coming out of his hands, and they start hitting your shield. <laughs> waves of heat, man. <laughs> I didn't expect shield to be the first thing Joe said. <laughs> Is he getting, are you getting hot and bothered, Sol? Um, he is choosing the shield. The heat metal. Yes, it's heat metal. The shield begins glowing red hot. Um, you take. You cause the object to glow red hot. Any creature in physical contact with the object takes 2d8 fire damage when you cast oh. a spell. Oh, it's heat metal! Oh, heck. Yeah. Metagag. Yeah. Heck a roo. I'm gonna have to roll something on my turn. Wait, is that a save? No. Uh, no, no save. So that is 6 fire damage to you, it David. It just happened. Okay. It's, it's one of my favorite spells. And your shield is glowing hot. Um, it is also a hot boy. I make a I save to see if I hang turn. on, right? I think on his turn you have to make a save or drop it. But. Yes. Yeah. So I'm going to mark you with a thing. Fire. Do I have a fire icon? They don't have a fire icon. That's really We'll say terrible. a bomb. Oh, excuse Bless me. You. Uh, so he goes, Wah! and your shield gets really hot, and you get burned by it a little bit. But that's his turn. Uh, that is so rude. Next up is the smoky boy that Ember hit. Um, he's going to turn to Ember. Let's see if he gets his barf attack back. He does not. He's just going to attack Ember with his claws. That's a 16 against Ember. Uh, yeah, that hits. All right. Three slashing damage. And he just kind of scratches at you. Nah. Meh. Ember's like rude. <laughs> and then Can I help you? This hot boy. Uh seeing that Rinland's kind of fumbling around blind, he's going <laughs> to shift over here. And he has not used his fire breath, so he's going oh to do so now. Oh boy, TM. Uh Rinlin, you're actually safe. Soul and Kalian, I need you guys oh. to make. Yeah. 
Dexterity saving throws. God, I would argue that's an automatic fail on my part anyways. Use your reaction to impose advantage on a save. Sure. I can go ahead and do that. Okay. I'm guessing that's from your sigil. Does she give it to one of us or both of us? One. If it's the same attack, then no. It's just one. I have really good decks. What's... I'll give it to... I, I would give it to Soul. I'll give it to Soul. Okay. Okay, good night. Yeah, I got Sorry. a 19. Yeah, that was my beer. Sorry. That was a... I got a 17 plus 1. 18. All right. You guys both take half damage from this. He got 9 halves to 4. 4 fire damage to Killian and Soul. And that is that Mephit's turn, and it is Atone's turn. Um, we are going... Uh, how tall is the, um... Here? Uh, it's pretty pretty tall. Um, I'd say it's a solid, like, three and a half feet tall. Oh, so, so just not tall enough that I can't shoot over it. Not tall enough that you can't shoot over it, but it's tall for an animal. Just barely tall enough to make it hard for a dwarf. Yeah. In that case, this guy right here is Belgian. Okay, go ahead. Roll to 60. That's a 21. That'll hit. Hits 5. Eldritch Blast flies and it hits him. Meh! Meh. Meh. Meh, see? You know what? I'm also going to... Yes. Make my way over there. Making my way downtown, flanking oh my gosh, Muffets. Stop. <laughs> Just. Is anyone else reminded of the Amanda Bynes show with. <laughs> yes, every, every single time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Next Muffet I hit, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Kalian, you are up. Speaking of which, I'm going to swing around here. And. Booming. Uh... <laughs> yeah, booming blade that guy. Okay. Oh, what are we dice? Where are you going? Come back. Uh, twenty-two to hit. Twenty-two will hit. Fourteen damage to Mr. Meffitt. All right. As you strike him with the booming blade, uh, the same effect that happened to the other one begins to happen. He glows a bright, brilliant orange, and then psh, he pops. So Kalian and Soul, along with these two Meffits, are going to have to make oh. Oh, dexterity nice. saving throws. Oh, if both those Meffits die, though. Oh yes, it it occurs. <laughs> Uh, what was yeah. it, Joe? Dex save? Yes. Alright, 23. I got a natural 20. Both so 20. are half damage. And he's going to do 6 damage. So you guys both take 3. Let's see how the methods do. That method failed. That method passed. So, minus 3. Oh boy. I can't wait. And this one is minus 6. Lucky for you, they don't pop. Damn. I mean, yeah. Uh, Joe, how tall is this uh, stone thing? Uh, that one's only about, like, three feet. It, it acts as, like, a table. Alright, well, I'm going to take cover behind it, but I'm probably not going to be able to hide behind it. Mm. Uh, and can I attempt to identify what these are? Sure. Make an arcana roll. Ooh, that was a good roll. 24. They're methods. <laughs> they explode when you when they die. Uh, yeah, yep. I, am I am I aware that they? So there are methods. Die? They have a death burst. Um, the magma methods can innately cast heat metal, and the smoke methods can innately cast dancing lights. Um, you know that they generally attack with claws. Um, you know that the magma methods have a fire breath, and you know that the smoke methods have a cinder breath. 
glad I waited till we'd seen all of those in effect. To roll that. <laughs> uh, that'll be it for me. All right. It is the smoke method's turn. Rinlin, you finish wiping the soot out of your eyes. Yay! I want to beat his ass. Uh, just in time to see him coming at you with his claws. He got the 12. That fails. So he swings and he misses, and he's pretty sad about it. Good. So. Never, never, never swing. Alright, so I see this, uh, see if I save to hold on to my shield. Okay, con save. That's a 15 plus 2, 17. That'll beat their safety seat. Sweet. Alright, um. I think. Do I know if radiant damage would do anything special to these guys? Uh, you don't think so, no. Okay. I'm going to use Toll the Dead. Okay. On the hot boy right in front of me. Okay. Hot boy? <laughs> uh, he has to make a wisdom saving throw. And if he misses, he takes a d12 of damage. He got a 14. Solid. Buck. He got it. All right. Um, I think I'm going to, as a bonus action, hit Renlin with a healing word just to make her a little healthier. I got really scared for a second. I was like, why are you hitting me? And then... At last, my plan is coming into action. <laughs> I'm actually completely fine. <laughs> Serena, be raised. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Okay, then never mind. Then that is my turn. Okay. Ember. I don't know why I said it like that. You know, it's kind of it kind of sounded like the wrestler announcer guy. (laughs) And in this corner, it this guy since I get advantage, yes. Yes, sir. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir, ma'am. Kind of underwear if I am a sir. Oh, I need to. Hey. Hey. Anyone can wear any kind of underwear they want. That's, a, that's our thing for the, this week. Valid. Uh, <laughs> I got a 16 plus 2. That'll hit. And... I don't know why I just completely zoned out for a second. Sorry about that. It happens to me um, all the time. It's all good. <laughs> Alright, first one's 5 damage. Second one, I crit. Okay. It's damage, so 16. All right. Uh, two more swipes of her blades cut into this method. Uh, we're going to say you go ahead and just swing down with both of your swords, cutting its wings off. Um, as you do, smoke just kind of starts pouring out of where its wings used to be, and all of a sudden it just bursts. As he dies... Uh, the pause is killing me. He leaves yeah. behind a puff of smoke. Um, through this puff of smoke, you can't see a tone. Because he's on the other side of it. <gasps> okay. Really? And it makes a sphere of heavily obscured uh, terrain. Huh. I'm going smoky boy hunting. <laughs> it's so bad. Bet you're scared of that. Yeah, it doesn't actually hurt you or anything. So it's actually super useful <laughs> for my sneaky self. Uh, so Ow, my booty! It, it won't do anything. Nope, he's dead. There's just some smoke left. Okay. Oh. Never mind. I suddenly don't want to touch it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I will use my movement thing to get it right up thing. on here. Sounds good. Get up on this. Be like, hey, Redland, this is as close as we've been since this fight began. <laughs> uh, I scream at you. In Barbarian. <laughs> it's Barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> it's a language of all vowels. Uh, the method, <laughs> seeing that you just popped his friend, is going oh, to turn at you, yeah. Ember, and swing at you with his claws. Uh, he got a 14. That does not hit. 
he misses with his claws. Um, Why, I oughta? <laughs> Rinlin, you are up. And yes. you are not blinded. Yes. Yes, I am. Not. I would, I would like to attack. Okay. The, um, I'm going to attack that one. Okay. Why not? I think it's the way I was facing anyways. Go, go, power, Rinlin. I'm going to reckless a two. <laughs> You're going to reckless? Six. And a three. I don't... That's cool. What's your total? You, you got you got to lose that hammer. It's cursed. Uh, that six is going to be an 11, actually. 11? Did Mario loan you his dice? <laughs> 11 is not going to hit. <laughs> yeah. However, when you kind of let loose and you're a little reckless with the hammer, you notice that when you swing it, there's almost like this glow of like this purpley dark energy around the head. I'm sorry, what? When you reckless attack. Oh, I, I heard you. Oh, I heard you. <laughs> However, you you don't hit, so you don't get to see what happens. Uh, it's um, a reckless hammer? Joe. What? <laughs> this thing's gonna kill me. This thing's literally gonna get me killed. That's <laughs> the point! <laughs> I'm into it. All yeah, right. It's this evil plot. So it's this method's turn. Let's see if he gets his fire breath back. I really hope he does. He does not. Um, instead, he's going to... Uh... You're thinking about he heating metal again, aren't you? Yeah, I'm trying to think who he would heat metal on, though. A person who's literally living metal? Uh, is Aldria metal or no? It's not. It's crystal. I'm right? Eldritch steel crystal. and crystal. My bad. Sorry. Are you wearing armor though? You have an armor crystal. I have an mm. armor crystal. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Get wrecked. Yeah, heat metal so may not be able with armor. Nobody really wears like armor. Did armor. he lose his concentration on the uh, first one? Yeah, the first one died. Yeah. Okay. He's oh, it just was the one that we killed. Yeah. He's just gonna claw Renlin. Okay. Uh, sixteen. That hits. Yay! So that is four slashing and four fire. Oh yeah. Meh. Hmm. A tone. You're up. I will just move over to here, and I'll just blast that guy. Go for it. Ooh. Only a 13. 13 will hit. 7 points. Pew pew! Pew pew! Atone fires another blast of Eldritch energy. You said 7 points? 7 points. Have I hit any of these guys yet? No, you have not. Nope. <laughs> Solid. I've been keeping you're track. Building the hammer of tears, it misses even, every time. I don't even care. This thing is. This says you are. Kaylee, you're up. All right, I am going to swing around. Stabby this guy. Uh oh, my dear lord! I got a nineteen and a twenty. Can you stop? <laughs> that's what. That's why I can't fucking hit me like roll anything. Well, I haven't um, not flanked any attack this combat, and uh, I have all the shackers. Go ahead and roll damage. Whoa, that's a good damage roll. Ten, twenty-two, twenty-seven, thirty-one damage. <laughs> That'll do, yeah, probably. That's my smug face. <laughs> Just replace him with a smoke cloud there. Alright, and then I'm gonna hide behind the smoke cloud, because why not? I love it. Although I rolled a net one on that one, so. <laughs> You're like, haha! They won't see me behind the smoke, and then you realize that he's like floating above you, and your legs are obviously there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what happens when I use a smug face. The world punishes me. Uh, that'll be it for me. Okay. Soul, you are up. All right. 
Um. T then. I'm gonna use Toll of the Dead on the guy in front of me again. Okay. That is wisdom a save wisdom save. Oh, he they got a six. Haven't they? You got a yeah. six? Yeah. That is 11 damage, I think. Yep, 11 damage. And that is enough to pop him. Soul and Rinlin. Roll, roll. Dexterity saves. Okay, not that I want to, but like, does Reckless give me disadvantage on this kind of shit? Nope. No. You I'm have legit. I rolled right a three anyways. You have danger yeah. by now, don't you? It's not a trap though. I think traps only like pathfinder. I think it's any deck save you can see. I don't think I have danger sense yet. I have a player handbook right here. I have Google. Anyways, I got a natural twenty. I'm blowing all my crits on. Oh my oh, god! No, it's we're, get, we're getting a lot of crits this game. Oh wait, no, I yeah, you have an advantage on deck saving throws against effects that you can see. Yep. You can see. You are not blinded, so. Uh, yeah, that's better. It's gonna be 17. 17? Yeah. Alright, and what did you get, David? Why is this a natural, natural 20. 20. Alright, so you guys both pass. So instead of the full 7 damage, you are going to take 3 fire damage. As he goes... <laughs> and fire goes everywhere. All right, that'll bring us to Ember and the last remaining method. The last little smoky boy. Little smoky boy. No more hot boys. All the hot boys went pop. Oh, all right. I uh, I got. Do I get advantage because I'm right next to Renlin, or no? Because he's not right between us. Yep. Uh, you do not get advantage. Two, I was like, I asked two part question, and I didn't know which yep you were talking about. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be. It's gotta be right between you. And um, that's okay. I got a sixteen. Sixteen will hit. And the second one, I got a nineteen. Also hits. Things are not looking good for this little guy. Oh, my movement goes up. Poor dear. Oh, poor, poor, poor smuffy boy. I got seven damage and seventeen total. Seventeen total. He was at twelve already, so that is enough to pop him. I'm sad. I didn't get to see what the saber did. I want you to go just, half just the campaign without seeing what it does. I'm gonna be <laughs> just just in a tone. You'll find out. I thought about it. I really did. <laughs> All right. Party is out of combat. All right. I would like to look in these boxes. Can we take a short I rest? I would like to check this door, make sure nobody heard that commotion that was coming. Uh, you don't hear anything from that side of the door. Save you some time. Does that guy wake up in the, the all this commotion? Well, did somebody tie him up? We tied him up, right? He's all yeah. tied up. Um, yeah, I tied him up. What happened to the other guy we had tied up? Oh, he's like in the other room, I think. Just chilling. Yeah. Him places. We thought about using he, him. He he was upstairs. Yeah. You you tied him up upstairs, and he's sitting upstairs. No, he's at the bottom. He's in this room. Oh yeah, he's yeah he's in that yeah room he's in this now. room somewhere. We brought him. We definitely yeah. brought him. You left him in this room. Because we were should've, like. We should have tied him to the door. <laughs> I don't think they would have cared, but yeah, we should have. That's, that's pretty Borderlands of you. I was going to say, that's very, <laughs> it's very Borderlands. Hey, it would, have been worth, it would have been worth a shot. Um, okay, so going through all the boxes and stuff and getting a little bit more time to look around, um, there's just more materials to craft with that are... <coughs> Bless you? Yes, I sneezed. <coughs> Twice. Bless you. Yeah. Thank you. Bamboo, um, bless you. Uh, Ser Serena, bless you. Serena. Thanks, Serena. Where's Brad? He's gonna, like, emerge. Um, <laughs> yeah, all sorts of weird materials used for crafting. There's some exotic metals. 
Hello. Um, no Rhine Seal. Well, exotic metals still. I yeah, like... there's some exotic metals. Um, as long as there's no Laris tree stuff. There, okay. there is one box that has. <gasps> it wouldn't be Laris tree. It's Lucatir tree. All right, that's fine. Which is really, really tall, strong wood. Oh, okay. Is that a thing that people do? Is actually cut down the Laris trees to? Not legally. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> but still, like. I would, be, I would be so offended. I'm offended. I'm not even like I've never even played an Amurai, but like I'm still offended. I I studied it. It's it's, so it's very I'm illegal. Lying. I would fucking imagine. Um, but yeah. I mean, the turtles are kind of like expensive, but it's like yeah, it happens. Lair straight would be like, all right, we gotta find these people. Don't you talk my f talk about my fucking turtles that way. <laughs> Fair. Oh, We've kind turtles. of already started finding them and eliminating them as we went. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, wake up yet? Uh, he would come to about now-ish, I'd say. Shake him awake the rest of the way. Blah, 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 blah. Man, good thing none of the the hot boys were next to him. That would have been bad. Um, yeah. Can I recklessly attack the sample? <laughs> sure. Just to test it out. Yeah. Do, do you want to roll to hit an anvil? No, nah, you can hit it. Okay. Uh, as you just kind of let loose, it's something about how you swing. Like a normal swing with it, you know it's just kind of there. But something about when you just put your mind just not really caring where you swing and whatnot, it glows with this weird purple energy. And as you hit it, you watch as like you hear first of all this really really loud in this room just prung, uh, noise that echoes throughout the thing there's almost like this surge of energy and you watch as almost like a it reminds me it would remind you of like a Hadoken from Street Fighter that shape of energy comes out of the teardrop head into the anvil and just kind of disperses into nothing because it's not I'm alive sorry, or anything it what? if you reckless attack with this weapon um, it does an extra d6 necrotic damage. Hey, Joe. Yeah? You earlier, earlier you had said one of those boxes had, like, some kind of something for stealth, whatever. Mm-hmm. I want to steal a little bunch. Okay. Um, looking into one of the boxes you were looking at before, before the methods appeared, um... It looks to be the the pelt of some sort of uh, cat-like creature. Um, you're not completely sure what it is, but it just kind of looking at it in the shadows, it blends in really, really well. Um, it's not crafted into any sort of cloak or anything right now, but you think that this is a material that, with the right care, you could craft into some sort of item that would help you with stealth. Can I roll on it, since we know nature-y things? Sure. It would be a nature check. Hey, Joe, I wanna... How much would enough weigh... Like, how much would it weigh for enough... Like, say, two cloaks? Um, we'll say... N not too much. Um, you could easily carry it. Maybe ten pounds each at most. If y'all don't want to get a little too tired of carrying stuff, just give it all to me. I'll be all right. <laughs> You're saying the pelts are 10 pounds each? Yes. Then I can easily smuggle one of them. Oh, you're going to put it in your thing? Yep. Uh, let me look at my equipment, because I have the same thing. I just yeah. usually fill it with a uh, forgery kit. Yeah, so I will definitely pull one of those in and I'll come over to Kaylee and say, you might want yeah, I could see putting that to use. I mean, it's not as uh, obviously fashionable as a suit, but I mean, I could see situations when it would be useful. I guess it depends on what you think of fashion. Oh yeah, my forgery kit's only five pounds. I can totally carry one. This, what do I got? I got ten pounds per level, right? Level four. Um, so everyone gets a total of 500 experience points. Um, yeah. Reminder of where you guys were at. You guys, this is 
including the armor. So this is right after you hit level four, your 500 experience beyond that. So I don't think you level, but. What are we at, 320? Uh, last night it was 2700, but I don't think we, we didn't get experience. I, I just told you to level up before, so let me, I can get yeah, you an exact number. Like I still number. had 2000 out for my experience, because I don't. When he told us to level up, I just put in 700 to put us 2700, which. We're yep, leveling. that, so it's 500 after that, so you guys are at 3200. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm at. not even keeping track of it, I just level when Joe tells me to level. That that's is fair. Kinda, that's kind of what I've been doing. I can't level in Hero Lab without keeping track of it, so. That's silly. Oh, really? That's interesting. Milestones exist here. Mario Lab. is a very good uh, resource for tracking the XP, so. <laughs> I've literally never had to, so it's, it's weird to me. It. I track all my Wednesday players for them, so. Looking for me. We've got a while to go. Uh, Is this guy's awake now? Uh, he's waking up. Rinlin, what did you get on your nature check? Uh, four. Okay, yeah, you're not quite I would, sure. Sorry, I would have said something more if it was, That's okay. you know, worth it's, it's fur! I'm trying to remember what they're called. I think I, I yeah, because I think I remember, but I'm, like, struggling. Is it these guys? It's these guys. Are they guys from the new book? Maybe. Cool. Come on. Load, you stupid page. Uh, yeah. The other guy does start coming, too, though. Like, uh, what? Where am I? Kind of helps shake him awake. And I'm like, hey! Uh, kill me and be done with it. He like, says, I need uh, some answers first. You really don't want to be saying that near her. And I'm <laughs> Renlin. He, he says it, I'm just like. <laughs> I kind of hold my finger up to Renlin. I'm like, I, my, I need answers first. I actually wouldn't, because I'm way too enthralled with this hammer right now. I don't really care about anything else going on in this room. I'm like, we're looking for the half-orc who you have been stealing from. Are you saying this in an intimidating manner or a persuasive manner? Um, really all about the same for me, so... <laughs> Would you like me to roll and just go with it? Yes, if you don't mind. I got 19 on the die, so 18. All right. Ugh. Which half-orc? Which half-orc? Are you stealing from multiple? He, he well, kind like, of looks... He doesn't say anything, but you know the answer. Just by like how he's looking, he looks a little like sheepish at that. Like, uh, yeah, we, we are. But he doesn't actually say that like, out loud. I feel like right now... Ember's more like a disappointed school marm. <laughs> kind of like, it, that's like the persuasion she's going with. Like she's I'm not kind of mad. I'm disappointed. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> roll yeah, roll like, a guilt check. Yeah. <laughs> roll a mom check. <laughs> I got an 18 on my mom check. Okay. But, um, so I'm just like, all right, don't answer that. I'm like, I'm looking for cool with it. Cool, cool. Cool, Grimir. Grimir. I'm like, you've been stealing from his company for about two weeks at least. I don't know where the half work is. I just know where his supply line is. We've been heading it off, or rather, the other members of the Shadow, Shadow Anvils have been stealing from him. They bring the supplies here, I make weapons. That's my role in this. Who's Can giving I you information? Oh, yeah, good idea. Go for it. Who's giving you information on uh, where to interrupt his supply lines? I got a 22 on insight. Uh, he seems to be telling the truth. Okay, so we ask again. 
Who's giving you the information on where to head off his supply lines? Not a lot of supply lines get around the city without our contacts knowing about it. Contacts. You're going to have to kill me if you want that information, because if I tell you, I'm already dead. Well, if you tell me, I'll go ahead and grant that wish. I'm losing my patience. We could torture him, I say, from the other side of the room, like, playing with the hammer. (laughs) (laughs) Bang, bang, bang. (laughs) I'm going to sit down, like, so I'm at his level, and kind of just, like, with my hand on my leg, and I'm just like, look... Don't waste my time. Torture it out of you. It might take a while, but you'd wish you were dead. Beast, everything's dead. Your fucking place is ransacked. Now, will you just tell me? I tortured people for a hundred years. I'm pretty sure I can make you talk. Rinlin, make an intimidation check. I say covered in, absolutely covered in scars, looking like... <laughs> I feel like she should get advantage for just looking like hell. <laughs> Kalian's eyes are pretty wide. It Do was- I get advantage? I'll say no to advantage, but if you want to make an... It's it's an intimidation roll, but instead of charisma being the ability, you can have strength be ability be the ability. So I do have proficiency in it, so it would be five. There you five, go. Which I'll make it a 15. He kind of notices you again, Rinlin, he looks a little frightened. I don't even look at him, though. Like... Nah, Ember's just gonna be like, look, do you want All me right. to leave you in the room alone with her? All right, I'll talk. The Shadow, Anv- Shadow Anvils, the group that I work for, We've been trying to get a better foothold in the city. There was a member of the Dragon Syndicate who we managed to make contact with. They said if we could up our game a little bit and go from making weapons to taking away supplies from other places to make them, we could get a leg in and get in with the Dragon Syndicate. This was our way of doing that. They provided us the information of where the supply lines would be running. We just had to be there, take the stuff, bring it back here, and do what we do best. Who's your contact within the Dragon Syndicate? I don't know that information. I'm not the head of the Shadow Anvils. Alright. So who gives you the information on where He meets with our boss. I'm obviously losing, like, what little patience I had, and I'm going rapidly from, like, disappointed mom to being just genuinely pissed off. Still sitting, like, at his level and half tempted to leave him with Renlin. But I'm like, who is your boss? There's an old steel warehouse in the warehouse district of the city. It's our main hideout. It's heavily guarded, but that's where Xander is. Xander? It's a dumb name. <laughs> I'm like, okay, so Xander's the boss, deal warehouse, question, and I need you to consider it. I'll give you about five minutes. Would you rather... Actually, first question. Any sort of bargaining chip if we took you? Like, don't answer that then. Next question. (laughs) Kill you or would you like us to go and kill them all? Um, before we go towards mass murdering and uh, (laughs) butchery... But why? Might I suggest a more subtle approach? If they're in bed with the dragon syndicate, they're the same to me. Yeah. 
These people killed your parents. Mother, I mean, we, father, we, father, father, sorry. We could possibly get the authorities involved, or we could just take care of it. We already yeah. ran in, We already ran into people who were authorities. Yeah. Dragon Syndicate. That's so, which true. authorities true. are you wanting to get involved? As much as I hate to suggest it, the, this seems in the, in the territory of the Sentinel. <clears throat> No. Yeah, and the Sentinels I've run into have either been bribed or lazy. They well, won't get anything done. They're not. They're not my favorite person. All right. So perhaps if we are oh, going to go, if if we are going to go, yeah, we do need our information as quickly as possible. But I would suggest that we we do this smart. Is there any sort of uh, code or procedure through which you access your base that we might infiltrate it? Uh, instead of fighting our way into it? I don't go there. I, I work out of here. If they need me for anything, they come and get me. But surely you interact with people that go there. Have they told you of any sort of uh, badge, uniform, password to get in? There's a password. It changes regularly. People really only need to know it if they're going. And what is it, bro? Like it, it changes <laughs> regularly. I, I don't well, know what it is. What was it the most is. recent? Most recently, it was. Uh, he doesn't say this. <laughs> Joe says this. Uh, Loading DM consideration. Copperhead. And how long ago was uh, that? Two I'd weeks. I'd like to insight check that, by the way. Go for it. Just make sure he's not like... Again, he didn't say, uh, that was just me. Yeah, but... I rolled an 18. <laughs> uh, he doesn't seem to be lying. Okay. Does my 24 still stand from earlier? <laughs> yes. Okay. How often does the password change, and when, how do you find out when it does change? Changes every three days. Oh, fuck. And usually there's a courier every few days who comes with more information for us, including what the password is. Does the courier provide written information or verbal? Verbal. Damn. Keeping Bandit records is a dangerous business. See, I keep records of everything. You gotta know how to hide it. Uh, oh, what's... Is it the same courier? It's... Sometimes is. Just depends on who's free to come out and deliver the what, message at the time. What are the names of the most common couriers? I don't keep track of their names. When's the last courier that you You don't have? know the people you work with? Come on, guy. I don't think he cares. Yeah. Also, in his defense, I don't know your guys' names half the time. <laughs> <laughs> the guy I stabbed with a thing. The guy I want to stab with a thing. <laughs> he looks at Rinlin. <laughs> Tall folk, am I right? Right? They're awful. It's fun. When is the next career? He's due tomorrow. Oh, <gasps> ambush. So, when he says that, I just kind of step behind him, and I look exactly like him. And I say, maybe we can just courier. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure the courier will give up him. I like this plan. Did you just do our shift in front of him? I'm behind him, so you guys can see it. Oh. How the heck did you just do that? Well, Let's we see. know he could do it. It's just <laughs> yeah, did the, but did the dwarf yeah. see him? Mm, currently, if Matone is taking the like the the time to like step behind him, yeah, no, I, I assume you're trying not to be seen by him, right, Mario? Yeah, no, I still yeah. find him and then shift. Okay, I don't say anything. Then I was gonna say that we have to kill him, but. <laughs> uh... <laughs> The, we talked. We talked with the the other boss guy, right? The guy that Rinlin smashed his face in. 
Yeah, we did. Is he still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. Yeah, he's the guy we tied up. Okay. Because I have this guy's self. I can also be a, a guy. Renlon looks like a really good bodyguard. So does Soul. And I can be a dog. <laughs> I mean, what else do we really need? Dog, salamander, same thing. <laughs> I don't think I'd pass as a really good salamander. Bye. Bye. Alright, so at least it sounds like we have a plan now. Yeah, okay. I think we're gonna wait for the courier. That's a great plan. I'm excited. Joe, okay. that's uh, Disguise Self, right? Yes, it functions as Disguise Self. Yeah, and I, I know Disguise Self as well, so... I don't think you can change your height by more than a foot. More than a foot. You're gonna be a weird-looking dwarf. Yeah. Well, no, I'm kind of... How, yeah, how tall is this? I'm kind of short anyway. Where, where is that? He's about... I only got 5'6". Oh, you are short. I'm 6'4". I yeah, I was going to say he's about 4'5". So... What's going on? Yeah, yeah you're about an inch off. So. I'm small. How tall are you, Renlin? Small. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm a four one. <laughs> Three foot six. Oh yeah, I'm taller than Renlin. You're a really short dwarf. Yeah, it even says in the description that she's small for even for a dwarf. You're like verging on halfling size. Yeah, but like twice as thick. Three times as thick as one. You don't know the halflings that I do, girl. Let me tell you. Okay. They thick. <laughs> so I, be, I look at Ember and I say, just uh, just keep them talking. Keep talking to him. Keep the conversation. Oh, can you mimic his voice? I'm sure that I have some type of skill with my pretty heavy deception. My All right, cool. Performance. Uh, Noir can mimic voices. That's, oh, yeah. They get advantage, I think. Do we? To... Is that no. Pathfinder or 5th edition? I think it's 5th ed, because I don't think May plays a lot of Pathfinder. I don't play, I don't even know how Pathfinder works. Um... I mean, I know the actor feat, you can get it so that you can perfectly mimic, but let's see. Yeah, I mean, I, that, my goal oh, They is... have a plus one to persuasion and deception. That's all okay. it is. Probably yeah, okay. Good. Figured. Because of, it's the voice of the whatever. Mm -hmm. It's a gift from the Vandals. Oh, oh no. Uh, Mario, yours is uh, Alter Self. Yeah, I just realized that it's Alter Self. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's better than mine. Mine is just an illusion. That's what it is. So I think Alter Self might do voice. I don't know the spells though. Well, I'm gonna just keep I'm gonna just keep talking to him, ask him about random crap, like figure out what his name is. Uh, you learn that his name is. I can change the sound of my voice with this as well. Oh. Transform your appearance, type what you look like, including weight, height, facial features, sound of your voice. Air length, color. So basically, I'm going to look and sound exactly like this guy, but I'm still yep. going to uh, get Ember to sit and keep him talking. In fact, uh, oh, you learned that his name is Bosch. Bosch. Um. All right, Bosch. How did you end up in all this anyway? Uh. <laughs> why am I drinking mustard? Um, it's, it's just a water bottle that's orange. Um, it's mustard. You're not the first person to think that it's mustard and or Thousand Island dressing. <laughs> Rachel constantly thinks that I'm drinking Thousand Island dressing on Saturdays, and it's hilarious. But, um, so thank you for asking. Uh, Bosch tells you that he got involved with this because he, he started out as a blacksmith's apprentice. Um, then... During the Second Empire War, um, a lot of people were called off to help on the front lines and just with the war effort in general, um, including his master. He was not called, so he just kind of 
stayed behind and was kind of operating the forge on his own because he needed to eat somehow, even though his master didn't really give him permission to. He just went at it, and he got pretty good at it. Um, eventually, his master came back. His master was really mad that the forge was being operated without him, and he kicked Bosch out. Uh, Bosch had nowhere to go since he was a dwarf all the way here in uh, Arezia, pretty far from home, um, and he ended up on the street looking for looking for any way to make money. Um, he eventually was approached by some of the other less savory people who had bought weapons from him in the past, and they offered him a job, and they kind of got the operations of the Shadow Anvils going. Um, the Shadow Anvils used to primarily just deal in creating weapons if they could purchase. They generally would purchase from other criminal organizations exotic materials and whatnot to make weapons that would be considered illegal or stuff that you would need like a higher permit to own and sell it to people who wanted it. So black market type stuff. Um, when he's talking about that, I do want to ask about the hammer. A hammer or the hammer? The hammer. Like the one that's currently in my hand. I stole that from my previous master. I mean, it's kind of nice. It was what a parting it gift. It's magic. Uh, obviously, it's. I can't believe I'm going to say this. He, my master claims that it's forged around, it's it's pure obsidian forged around a uh, tear of a black dragon. I don't know. Oh, that's special. Bullshit, if you ask me. Solidified it, made it stronger, magical properties. I don't... It hits really hard if you're not focusing. I don't know why. If you ask me, you always want to trust the folklore of what other people are saying until you can prove without a shadow of a doubt that it's not true. <laughs> but also good for me because I never look when I throw punches. When when Saul says that, I say, Saul, this song was made, or this sword was made from a phoenix feather. <laughs> and I'm like, Bosh. Seem to have a pride as a blacksmith. Comes with the territory. You're worried about your life. <clears throat> Got it. Renlin. Got it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and I'm like, what if we could give you papers to get out of here? Where's home for you? I guess I could go back to Mithrain. Hadn't really thought about it. When I wanted to originally, I didn't have the means to, but... After that changed, I was caught up with the money and getting to forge here, but I could go back home. You just annihilated almost your entire bar of people and die here. Those guys were chumps. If you're going for this. the rest of them, they're going to be a bit more prepared. Like, and that's fine, but we killed your salamander too. What I'm saying is, who's to say that you didn't die here? a different name and send you home. That's not a bad idea. If, if you can continue to supply us with information and, and things we need, we can absolutely make your dream of returning home true. I'm sure we can chop up one of these bodies and burn it enough that they won't ever be able to tell. What else do you, you need to know? Be, like you said you'd be dead anyway, right? Yeah. What else do you need to know? We can uh, you can tell that after, like, he thinks about the deal for a second, he, he seems more confident in his speech now. Like, he's he's entertaining the idea heavily. All right, I want to go it's work on his papers. I want to shout over my shoulder, what's up with the salamander? <laughs> Easiest the way to fuel a forge without having to 
buy actual fuel. An elemental. Do you have more of these? I don't have any. They're under the con Xander's control. Xander's the one who summons them. Uh, the methods are just kind of a side effect from keeping a creature like that around to power your forge. They attract other pests. So Xander's a mage? Among other things. What what are his capabilities and what are his 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 guards' capabilities? What like what are the defenses around the uh, main base? Well, you're gonna run into more things like the salamander there. Um, there's another it a lot like this operation here. The inside of the building is going to look just like a warehouse, like you'd expect. Uh, however, there's gonna be a passageway. It's under one of the boxes there. I haven't been there in so long, I can't tell you which one. It's always uncovered when I go. There'll be a staircase down into a larger facility. You'll run into more salamanders there for sure. Uh, Xander knows magic, obviously, but he can fight a bit too. He's not completely... The slouch. Yeah. Uh, for guards, really depends who's here and who's not out on a mission. There's probably a couple more thugs like the ones you fought upstairs, only I would expect them to be a bit more well-trained. Um, his main bodyguard, real big half-ogre, I think he is, half-giant. It's hard to tell. That sounds fun. Ramlin? Hmm? What? I'm just saying. Sounds right up your alley. <laughs> You're looking for that Kulatan, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the cool man. <laughs> yeah, that's not at all what he's called, but yeah. Cool hand, Luke. Uh, last I can remember, that name did come up. Xander's been looking for him specifically. The Dragon Syndicate, they've, they've been asking us to steal supply lines and keep doing what we're doing here, but they have specific targets in mind, and they've mentioned that if we can bring in specifically Kulatan, we'd be well rewarded Xander's kind of become obsessed with moving up the ranks and getting to be a part of the syndicate he's probably looking for Kulatan probably got all of his resources on Kulatan I was wondering why we were getting more mithril than usual so if we faked a Kulatan appearance do you think that would draw people off the main hideout Potentially. Mike, that's a that's an idea that could work. Have we did we see a picture of Kulatan when we were at his uh, shipping company? Nope. We'll have to find that's out also like. assuming that they don't already have him. They don't. What if we make what if well, they they're looking for him? What if we make a scene at the company using Priscilla, telling her send a message out saying that Kulatan will be in. He contacted her over all of these shipments. I don't know if we want to... Because it would draw people to destroy his shipping company. No, I mean, if if we just have her call, like, one of the blacksmiths or whatever who's missing their shit, she contacted them, or he contacted her back, this is where he's at, he's going to be working on it. Oh, okay. Because it would look like good customer service. Yeah, I'll bet Priscilla would be willing to. She liked me. If anything, to get people to stop yelling at her, it'd be. Well, we're gonna deliver these. Uh, we sent a message, right? That we have some of the mithril. One yeah. blacksmith, but if they've been taking it from everybody. Well. She's probably got a pretty big headache. Yeah, I mean, if we return 
all of Kulatan's stuff, I'm sure she'd be willing to help us, especially if it reduced her headache and helped find Kulatan. That's Do a good idea. Do you keep documentations on everything that you've stolen? Uh... Check the room, he gestures to the uh, room that's kind of connected to the kitchen. There should be some papers on the table there of the most okay. recent stuff. Um, and then the if you look at the desk... Broke, right? uh, I'm working on his uh, fakes. Mm. But I'm gonna like wave like, yeah, somebody bring me those. Uh, if you go into Paperwork. the room that the armor was in, you can find that the table, it did have like a drawer on the side that you guys weren't like side facing away from where you came in. If you open it up, there's a bunch of paperwork of the most recent stuff. Everything older, the is either disposed of or uh, Xander takes it back to the main hideout. I bring it all back because I don't know what exactly he needs. But I give it to him. Alright, cool. I'm gonna spread it out on this stump. I'm gonna look at Bosch again. I'm like, we can help get you out of out of the city and back home. And extraordinarily helpful. That being said, if you decide best interest to double cross us with this, I will find you. Understood. I mean, I'm making his paperwork. It'd be pretty easy to track him. This is the first time I actually get to do anything, like, redemption-wise. <laughs> I've never gotten to use my forgery kit so much. It's great. Okay. I love this character. I've never had a hammer this cool. Since what was this dude's name? I want to ask what this pelt is. What is this thing? Oh yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Carolier pelt. What's up? <laughs> God bless pelt? you. <laughs> um, Carolier are... Let's see if I have a description I can read you guys. I should. Is this a big gloom cats? Uh, Carolier are six-legged, large panther-like creatures which, with coats of shimmering violet, blue, and green. Um, multi-hued creatures. They originate from the vibrant plane. Uh, though described as panther-like, Carolier have three tails, six legs, tend to be violet in color, but they can be nearly any shade of the rainbow. They are known for their shimmering tails, ears, and coats. Their hides are tough, which grant them a form of natural armor. When in combat, they pin their enemies down with their front paws and use their middle legs to rake their foes. Um, they're quite stealthy and utilize a form of natural camouflage to remain hidden. Um, which is why their pelts are so sought after as they maintain a good amount of the natural camouflage abilities. They kind of shift in color to match the terrain around them. Or have the capabilities to do that. But. I don't know why y'all would kill such a beautiful creature. Mm. Like I said, we don't kill them. We just take the stuff and make something else out of them. That's my intention. <laughs> you, you very ominously are like same <laughs> but I'm not talking about animals well what's really creepy is he looks the same as when he says it wait did he ever did he see you in his dupe it's like eh, I guess we trust him more now yeah I mean I'll shift back to myself yeah I <laughs> All right. I guess we should get some rest or something. We got a we got a a meeting coming tomorrow. Yeah. We're still waiting on the one blacksmith dude too. So. Yeah, we should probably send word out to the the pretty lady behind the desk as well. Priscilla. Whatever, Priscilla. She's clearly got a crush on me. <laughs> Guys, I think she has a crush on me. We weren't even in there. <laughs> <laughs> that was my attempted at humor. That was a good one, Rinlin. It went right over. It went right over Ember's head. She was literally like, "We weren't even in there." <laughs> uh, 
Okay. So where does the party head? I thought we were going to wait here for the blacksmith to get here. I say crash here for the night and... Yeah, yeah. there's beds. And a kitchen. Uh, yeah. I don't know how long oh, it takes me to do his paperwork, Joe, but when I'm done, I give it to him. Okay. What name do you give him? Cool with him. <laughs> uh, what name no. do I give him? Uh, Jeffrey... Do Doctor. not give him Jeffrey. He is not a Jeffrey. Hot boy? Hot boy? <laughs> Forge boy. I get. Uh, Jimothy? Uh, chat says Forgaby. Ferdinand? Nope, Forgaby. Forgaby? Forgaby. Forgaby? Yeah, Forgaby. What about you, Is it, is it some. It's like Forge Boy, but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can that please be his last name? This poor man. What about Bruton? Bruton. He likes Bruton it. Forgaby. Yeah, that'll work. Tried to get the most, uh... Dwarf sounding. <laughs> I'm over here like, do not name him <laughs> Jeffrey. That's not... And Dwarven last names are gonna be different than that, generally. Okay. Yeah. Bridge on Forgeboy. Forgeby. That's, that's so terrible. That's not even a. There... <laughs> Have you ever made forgeries for a dwarf before? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what is. Mostly just noir. Oh my gosh. That's Bridge on Forgeby. Like, it needs to be believable, though. Make his last name Grimhammer. So how we let the dwarf name the dwarf? <laughs> I say Grim Hammer and like literally wiggle the hammer. I mean, not that you're taking this, but I feel like it's a good ode to something that you had without being too obvious. Uh, right. May out of character, the name of that hammer is a reckless shadow hammer. FYI. <laughs> I like to name my magic items. I'm so into this. I'm really sad that we're not playing in person. You can't just like hand me a like magic item card. I would. Mm. Will you make me one? <laughs> yeah, I'll bring you one. I'll bring you one for Gen Con. I'll bring you a magic item card. Thanks. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll change it to Forgeson. Uh, uh, Grim Hammer. Brutin Forgeson. <laughs> Grim Hammer. Grim Forge. <laughs> It, this is an art form. I mean, you 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 are are like the master at forging, and I'm the master at forgeries. Obviously, you're not because you're doing a terrible job of it right now. <laughs> oh well, I mean, you're welcome to try your your hand at it. No, I'm just telling you things to make this believable, so this man doesn't get stopped at a border and killed for his I name. Think... Literally saying forged paperwork in his fucking last name. <laughs> no, no, no! It's spelled different. It's it's like he's he works at a forge. He's the son of a smith, and that's what he does. Am I right? And he's I a forge him. boy. Do, do me and him both just share this like horribly exasperated look? Yes. <laughs> just in Mithric, I just want to be like short, <laughs> tall ones, right? This like, one specifically. He I says in return. Speak, like, I don't are... actually speak Mithric. I don't think. Ember's just like, you are a full-scale diva. <laughs> At Kalian. In, in Rankin, I tell Kalian, don't worry about them, you're doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks! <laughs> I forgot that you guys... Is it just you two who know Rankin? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, me and Zong. I actually yes, don't... That no Mithrin, Mithrain, Mithril, whatever. Fuck Mithric? It. Mithric, that one, thank you. I mean, unless I would, but like, it's not on my character sheet. I don't know if it's it kind of makes sense for you to not know it with your backstory. Yeah. Like, you haven't yeah. been really in Mithrain probably for ever, so. Uh, literally ever. I was born in Argus. Yeah. Okay. Great country, by the way. Terrible. <laughs> Um, 
so the party kind of settles down to rest. Um, having this hammer, please. <laughs> you can attune to the hammer. God bless the USA. Um, make my own damn character card. The hammer, it has the name that I told you. Whenever you reckless attack, it does an extra d6 necrotic damage, and all your damage counts as magical with it. So if you don't reckless, it's still a regular maul that does magical damage. But guys, can I do wield mauls? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of, like, not comfortable, like, in character not using my hammer, but, like, out of character, I'm just like, yes. <laughs> Can my hammer break for, uh, roleplay reasons so that I have to use this hammer? <laughs> uh, is it one step closer to the edge? I don't get this And is it about reference? to break? I'm one step closer to the and edge, dumb. and I'm about to break? You're dumb. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Can I wield a maul with one hand because I'm so big? No. <laughs> okay. Um, but I think uh, it's like nine twenty right now, and I feel like Wait. if we do, I have to attune to it. Uh, technically, no. It doesn't take up an attunement. I don't attune to it then. Okay. Fuck the hammer. Sorry. Continue. Um, I think I'd rather call it early and start next time with you guys doing the infiltration bit and getting the uh, password and stuff when the courier comes and we'll do all that yeah. next session yeah. and start with that and then we'll lead up and take care of that a little bit I hope you guys go see Priscilla again because I like role playing as her it's fun um <laughs> I like that you just put on your customer service voice. Oh my gosh, it's the best. She's like literally the epitome of like, I work in customer service and I don't want to <laughs> like, um, I love her so much. No, she has a genuine attraction to me. <laughs> uh-huh. You're one of those. You're like one of those old guys who just goes to the cashier because they assume he's interested. Or because they assume that she's interested because she's actually showing interest. Um, uh, but this has been another episode of Stop, Drop, and Roll. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, tune in on Saturday for another episode of Key Masters. Um, I have no memory of what we're doing in Key Masters. I assume it's something evil, but, you know. Um, <laughs> that would be a good assumption, yes. Did we just murder something? I think we just murdered something. I forget. Uh, but tune in Saturday, watch some Key Masters, and tune in on Monday to watch some Ladies of Vathis. Um, you guys were, like, doing hyper, like, flirting with people at the bar last time. We, it was yeah, hilarious. No, there was a date. Um, Rashada went on a date, uh, but we are actually doing stuff now. Currently trying to track down the dude who probably broke into our hotel room. Yeah, that's right. Did they take the egg? No, no, I was no? Okay. Be nesting on it. Miles okay. was definitely guarding the egg, thank God. They didn't take <laughs> anything. But Good. Um, but yeah, tune in to Ladies of Athens. Their story is really cool. Um, also, if you're behind on any of those campaigns, I think between YouTube and recent Twitch VODs, you can watch everything from this one everything from ladies of vathis and you can definitely watch like the first couple episodes of key masters i should be getting caught up with the key master vods uh this week as well um it was just weird because i missed one and if i miss one i don't want to like jump ahead and have a gap in between um moving was fun and i never caught up for that but um they should all get caught up very, very shortly, and then everything from the current campaigns will be on YouTube for you guys to watch. Um, but that's all I got for tonight. A little bit shorter than a usual episode, um, but that's cool. It happens sometimes. Next week, maybe we'll go a little bit longer. And then the week after that, just as a heads up, we are off because of Gen Con. Um, Gen Con. There will not be a episode of Stop, Drop, and Roll that week. There will also not be an episode of Key Masters that week. Um, though everything should resume as normal the following week. Um, so y'all are gonna be gonna have a really me. barren week. Yeah. I don't know what Ladies of Athens' plan is, but I'm sure Ashley will figure that out and let you guys know. I don't know. know what our plan is either. 
But yeah. I mean, we could take a we could take a week hiatus. I mean, I'm sure I would. Fine. I'll ask Ashley. You guys will probably. I would recommend taking that Monday after Gen Con off because we'll all be exhausted. Facts. Um, but okay. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. We will catch you later. Uh, join Discord. Say hi to us. Come talk to us. Okay. Bye.